Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Slice tool in Cricut Design Space. It's a great tool to help you customize your de designs even further and it's really easy to use. Um, I will be doing an example using um, a Mickey Mouse head that I plan to use for Disneyland shirts we're making. So I'm going to go into images um, and I, it lives under Disney, I believe, Disney. Um, and I use this Mickey Mouse one. Um, with this one, I don't want the Disney part in there, so I'm going to come over to Contour. I'm going to press Hide All Corn Contours and then just select the Disney head again. So now I have just a plain Mickey Mouse face, Mickey Mouse head, and I'm going to put, um, we're going to put our names in it. So I want to have our name going across the Mickey Mouse face. So I'm going to write Katie, and that looks just great. Um, so you put it wherever you want on your image that you want it to be kind of combined with. And you select all, so you can do that by dragging the box around it or pressing the select all button up here. And then you come over to the bottom right hand corner and you press slice. And you'll see over here in the layers tab that it'll show the slice result, so you'll see that it worked. And I always just pull this out and you can delete these. And um, it's just a real fun and easy way to make custom designs using Cricut Design Space. Um, another part of this shirt that we're going to do is we're using a, um, a Disneyland uh, castle. So this is an image I uploaded on my own. And um, I'm going to go ahead and put the Mickey Mouse face in here again. Um, I actually have one um, over here. So I'm going to press, uh, click the Mickey Mouse face. Um, I'm going to remove that contour again. and make this a little bit smaller. And I'm going to put that down here because I want the little Mickey Mouse face as the door instead of the actual door. So I'll select all again. Uh, sorry about that. Um, so I'll select these ones and then I'll press slice. And there, it's perfect. And we also are gonna put 2017 up here um, so I'll just show you that so you can see all the different, these are just a couple possibilities. Obviously, there's so many things you can do um, using this slice tool, but it's this tool that I hadn't used a lot until recently, but it's really helpful. So hopefully this um, tutorial helped you figure out a little bit more about how to use slice to make custom images and, you know, make cutouts within other images. Um, you, there's really endless possibilities, so please let me know if you have any questions.